Our son Tate was uh, 14 years old and passed away due to one of these social media challenges. Tate was a great kid. He had a lot going for him. Many friends, very popular. His friends have been in shock, like everybody else in our family. So unexpected, we've just been totally heartbroken to have lost him and we fill the void every day and every moment of him being gone. And if I can help another child not to do this and their family and friends not to go through this, then to me, that's everything. Well, joining us now are Chanel and Michael, parents to 14-year-old Tate. There's no words. I, I know there aren't. Um, as hollow and shallow as it sounds, I'm so sorry for your loss. Michael, as a father of two boys, I, I just can't even imagine what you must be going through right now. I'm, you know, I've always just considered it such a, a pleasure and an honor to, to be a dad. And Tate, just a, he's a wonderful kid. He's a wonderful person, and I just, I miss him so much. Yeah, I, I just, I, I can't even imagine. And, Chanel, this, I don't know. Thank you. I don't know what you, I don't know what you say to yourself when you've done so many right things with this young man. A student, so many friends, no, no history of, of, of any problems, issues. He, he certainly um, wasn't depressed. He was very disciplined, about to receive his black belt in Taekwondo. Robin and I were talking about this, uh, our son at, at that age, just about that age, had just gotten his black belt in Taekwondo, and we knew what discipline that took to yeah. go through, and, and just a, a, a wonderful young man, and you guys had no idea that he even had a social media app, right? Because you monitored this and had talked to him about this, right? That's right. right. That's right. Yeah, we had... He'd asked for certain apps and we told him no. And so we were very much in shock when we found TikTok on his phone. You can put all the parental controls in the world on, but there's still ways, your friend's phone, this, you know, all different kinds of ways. Yeah. So what do you think was his motive? What do you think was appealing to him or attracted to him about this? Was it curiosity? Was I think it... he was always a curious kid. He was always very curious. He had asked Mike just um, a couple months before about passing out, if his dad had ever passed out. And we went into the dangers of it then. And then um, there was a time I walked by and he was sitting on the sofa and had one of his hands up near his neck and I asked him what he was doing and he told me that he wondered how lightheaded he could get and we talked about the dangers but he was always just a curious kid and I don't know um, after this happened we actually had a parent of a friend come to us and Mike and I had not heard of this pass out blackout challenge and mm -hmm. had said to us have you guys heard of this and that's when we started researching and, and put things together. And, and this is what we believe really happened. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.